Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Amber and today we're doing a unboxing of the Kindle Colorsoft, the Signature Edition. And it does only come in metallic black. So some of the specs are you have 32 gigs of storage, you have a 7 inch, it is Kaleido 3. So it's the same screen that's on pretty much all of the other colored e-readers that are on the market. But Amazon says that they have a little bit more advanced technology that makes the colors a little bit more vivid. This has wireless charging, a auto adjusting front light, so you get all of the features that you would on a signature edition normal Kindle, you just get the colored screen. So first we'll take a look at what you get inside. So you get their little brief information packet. And their charger, it is still USB to USB-C. actually is kind of a cool back. This has like the metallic finish to it, but this almost has when the light's hitting it like an iridescent look to it. Looks pretty nice. Power button still at the bottom. Okay, I do really like that subtle pop of color. Okay, so it did have to do a little update and restart. Okay, I'm not going to lie, the pricing of this kind of got me initially. I had a really hard time kind of justifying this because I was like, well, it's really just getting to see like the title or the covers of the book in color and getting to use four different colored highlights, which I do like to annotate a lot and I do love using like a color coded system, but seeing this in person there's just something about getting to see the covers of the books that just feels right. And they are definitely more muted colors, but again, that's kind of expected with the e-ink screens right now. So definitely don't, if you do end up purchasing this or something like this, don't go into it expecting very vibrant colors like if you were using an iPad they are going to be more muted but they still look so good so I don't really have I don't have my old Kindle signature paper white uh, I sold that one to get the Kobo Liber color and then I sold the Kobo Liber color to purchase this but I do have my old paper white the 10th generation to compare so I guess we'll just open up the same book. Okay, so with the screen off, you can definitely still see the colors. So this is with both the screens off. And then let me turn off the brightness on all these. 
You can definitely see that this one is definitely more dull than this one. So you will have to turn up the brightness to kind of have them comparable, which who knows how much that's really going to affect the battery life. Then you have the page color. So you can go into dark mode, but it looks like it's going to be like the Kobo where it only makes the pages dark and not the actual interface. Yeah, so it looks like there's not a overall UI dark mode. And then the color style. So you have standard. And then for things that aren't coming off a more dull, you can hit vivid. And that's supposed to enhance the color. Maybe this one will be the best to compare to. So that purple's kind of coming out a little bit more. Yeah, it looks like that purple was a little bit more vibrant, which I don't know how well you can... Let me move this forward more. I don't know. Maybe in actual, like, comic books, you'll notice that vivid effect more so. Let's see. I don't know how that vivid will affect the battery life either. I'm curious to see if that will make it drain faster. So that is all four of the colors side by side. And then let's see how quickly the page turning is. So it is super responsive. I know some people were kind of curious on that one because they talked about the new paper whites being 25% quicker, but they didn't really specify if the color soft was going to be any faster but it definitely seems so. But yeah, so this is kind of just a loose review. This is mainly just a unboxing and first impressions. So far, I do really like being able to see the colors of everything and getting to highlight in different colors. I will be using this as my daily e-reader and in the next probably month or so I will be doing a more in-depth review and just more so how I feel after using it for a while and if I think it's worth that $280 price point. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all my future videos and I hope to see you in the next one.